A customer calls to get some work done. Click on Schedule to open the calendar. There are several ways to start an appointment. Highlight the start time and click on New Appointment or double-click directly on the time itself to open a default half-hour appointment. If you already know the work requires a longer appointment, you may click and drag to specify how much time, then right-click and use the sub-menu option for New Appointment. This opens the Find Customer for Schedule window. Type in a few letters of the last name to see if they're an existing customer. When you get a match, click OK. This opens the Vehicle Selection screen to choose their vehicle, or in the case of a new customer, to start entry. Click OK. This places you in the Appointment Editor. The customer's name is shown in the Subject field, and the appointment state is open. If you highlighted a desired time slot in the schedule before launching the Appointment Editor, this will be the start time displayed. Changes can quickly be made to the start and end times and dates using the keyboard. The All Day Event checkbox is used to quickly reserve the entire day for larger jobs. An internal reminder can be set for this event. Check the box and choose a unit of time from the list. Comments may be included with an option to display them as notes on the order. The Comments section will provide guidance until actual work is assigned. Technician and resource assignments can be made at this time if known, and their color coding will appear alongside. The customer and vehicle details are visible for handy reference. Can jobs may be applied to an appointment in two different ways. The Add button provides access to search within the full can job list, or you may right click in the bottom grid to access any of your popular 30 quick can jobs. As you can see, the scheduler will warn you when the amount of work selected to be done is greater, and you should then adjust the appointment time accordingly. When you are satisfied with the appointment input recorded, click on Save and Close. Depending on the view selected, the appointment is now visible in your schedule with customer name and any comment text, if so enabled. If a customer calls back and says they can't make it to their existing appointment, check the calendar and simply drag it to another time that works for you and your customer. When they do arrive, double-click on the appointment to open it and then click Create to choose Estimate or Repair Order to proceed with the work.